Hey, and welcome to my first Unity tutorial and SketchUp tutorial. And for the tutorial, you will need Google SketchUp and Unity. You can get Google you can get Google SketchUp 7 Pro from my website, which is kingproductions.tk. Right here. Okay. Now first, open SketchUp. Okay. Now, let's just create a basic house. Now, if you see something where it's darker, then you have to either reverse it because the that side will not be visible. The darker side will not be visible in Unity. But if you raise it up like that, both sides will be visible. Okay. Now I'm just going to create a little house. If you want to make a house, the roof must be made like this. So in the inside that it won't be darker. So now we got a little crappy house. That is bad. And okay, a roof on it. Okay, and now we can get we can paint it. I'll give it a brick texture. And just line through here. Okay, now put a roof on it. I'll just use uh, this one. Okay, now we can Um, I'm just gonna just I'm just going to pause it and finish the house off. Okay. Now, I've just painted, repainted the house in the inside. And now, you can only do that if you have the pro version of SketchUp to import it into Unity. Now go File, Export, 3D Model, and save as an FBX. And just create, hold on your desktop or anywhere, and just name it. Unity house. Just give it house. Okay. Now we're done with SketchUp. Now launch Unity. Create a new scene. Okay, now what we can do here is go into your desktop, drag the Unity House folder into Unity. And now, yeah, that is the one we're going to be dragging into our scene. So just drag it into our scene. And just make these all zero, makes things easier. And then you can game object to get point light. Just gonna make the house bigger because it exports, imports really small. Okay. Now, if we now every when you install Unity, it has a first-person controller prefab, which also can be found in standard assets prefabs first-person controller. 
and you can drag it out into scene. Make it zero. And you can make the character a bit smaller. Or the house bigger, it doesn't really matter which one. See if he's a good size for the door. I think that's alright. Now, if we play the game right now, the character will fall straight through because the colliders haven't been generated. So, select the house from here and click Generate Colliders and Apply. Now, if we play the game, we have made a simple first person game with our own house. Now, that is all for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, I'll teach you how to make terrain with, with like hills and grass and trees and stuff and yeah that's it